has so much stuff around me, it's unreal. Oh. oh my god, they look so ugly. I should be ashamed of myself. Gosh, that hairspray is literally going into my lungs. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new, my name is Anushka. So today we're gonna film a cute little makeup tutorial. I posted some videos and photos on my Instagram and I got so many requests to recreate the eye look in a video. And to be honest, when I did it yesterday, I just did it. I didn't film any of it. So I thought, why not do it on camera and do like a chit chat makeup video kind of thing. And I just wanted to like use some products that I've been loving lately and just show you guys them. Thought I'd film a different spot to get like that chilled vibe i really feel like my camera is not straight but i have no patience with camera equipment like honestly i have so many ba baby hairs coming out it's so annoying like they just don't want to disappear ignore my nails i'm gonna do my gel video oh my god they look so ugly i should be ashamed of myself but what do you want me to do? I definitely need some lip balm. So I'm going to be trying the Tony Modi Banana Lip Balm that I got on Beauty Bay. I've just been dying to try this. It has a very subtle scent and it's very thick as well. I thought it would be liquid. I like the consistency. There's not really a strong scent on this to be honest. Yeah, I, we'll see. I like the consistency so far and like the way it feels on my lips. But we'll see how it, how my lips are towards the end of the video. Um, I don't know if I should start. I am thinking I'm going to do my eyebrows first. I've also been getting so many questions on how I do my eyebrows. So I'm going to show you how I've been liking to do them lately. So I'm first going to take my Hourglass Dark Brunette Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. To be honest, these have been my favourite. I would definitely repurchase these. But I like to go in a lot with a lighter shade, I've realised. Um, I don't like the darker colours. And you can also see the hairs. I feel like when I use darker brow pencils, the hairs just completely dif disappear and it's just like one block. So I honestly go so lightly. And I really like brush it out just to give some shading basically and a bit more fullness. But you don't want to like, well I don't want to completely draw on top of them. Right, so once I've roughly brushed through them, I'm going to take some of my Brow Volumizing Fibre Gel by Hourglass in the shade Dark Brunette, which, to be honest, these shades are a bit lighter than my um, brow hair colour, so I don't know, I just feel like it gives extra fluff. Just to give some extra hold, um, I've been liking to use the Got To Be Glued Water Resistant Spiking Glue. Um, I just use a bit of this on a spoolie and really like brush through my brows. This just, I feel like gives them an extra fluffy kind of look, especially on my left brow, which is so stubborn. Okay, I'm happy with that. I need to buy like feet masks and hand masks because my hands are so dry gosh that hairspray is literally going into my lungs okay now i'm going to take the revolution conceal and hydrate concealer in c10.5 and i'm just going to use a little bit on the back of my hand to carve around my brows and this really defines them so i use a super flat brush the one i've been liking lately is the sigma s20 eye cream brush it's an eye cream brush but i like it for my concealer just want to get another blending brush and really buff that concealer that's what it's looking like can you see how like fluffy it looks and hairy yes we like the hairy look on the brows just go around top it you don't have to just find it really cleans it up especially in the inner corner right i'm actually really happy with that you want to see that's how i've been doing my brows let's zoom you in I love how blended it looks in the middle. This is my left brow and it's always giving me a pain. But I found that when I do use the gel, like the two gels, it really helps to make it look thicker and bushier because this one struggles a lot. It's got long hairs, but it just needs help to like bring them out a bit so it doesn't look too thin. But yeah, 
so I've been liking to do my eyebrows. All right, so now that brows are done, we can now move on to our skin. I'm gonna moisturize with my Embryo Lease Philadelphia moisturizer. Oh my god, guys, so you know, like with shows. Obviously, I didn't know what to start watching after Ozark, which I bloody loved. I definitely recommend it. And I can't wait for the next season. Um, I've started Money Heist. I asked you guys on Instagram what I should watch next. And Money Heist won by far. Um, in Spanish, it's like it's called La, 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 El, La Casa de Papel, I think. I actually prefer to watch it with the normal Spanish language and with... English subtitles rather than the English voiceover because it just ruins it. It ruins the acting, the, the actual character. So yeah, definitely recommend watching it like that. I'm on, I've just started season two. Um, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes my attention drifts a little bit, but then some bits are really good. So I feel like now I'm actually getting into it. Now I'm gonna use my Benefit Professional Primer. This is the hydrating primer version, which I absolutely love. And it definitely fills in your pores without like drying the skin out. And it's definitely hydrating. I like to put it on my smile lines. I really like this primer. I've tried the normal one. It, I wasn't a big fan because it, it felt very silicone-y. This doesn't feel as silicone-y. It feels more like a thick moisturizer. But there's definitely something filling my pores. And I just see like my skin just appears smoother, especially my nose. Really love that primer, I definitely recommend it. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Luminous Foundation in the shade 345C. I really like this foundation. It's very luminous, very hydrating. I'm just going to go wet my sponge. I prefer to use it with a sponge. Are you knocking? Yes. Are you talking? Yes. Jeez, how are you breathing in here? Is it the hairspray? Yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> know. Oh, so I'm just going to blend this with my beauty blender. This is not beauty blender. This is the EX1 cosmetic sponge. I really love it. It's one of my favourites. And it's more affordable than the actual beauty blender. I don't like to put too much foundation on my forehead, to be honest. And the colour match of this is so good. Like, I can't believe... I bought this online and it actually matches perfectly. And the coverage is beautiful. Right, now we can move on to concealer. Now I really have been loving the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer and I've been using the shade beige for a really highlighted kind of look. And then lately I've been obsessed with um, contouring my nose. So I just do two straight lines with a thin flat brush. This is just a brush I got from Amazon. And I've been using my Huda Beauty Tantor in medium. Like I've been obsessed with this. And I just take my sponge and really blend it out. First the concealer. And you want to bring the concealer up to the sides of the nose, up until like the line you've created. And I just take like a fluffy brush like this. This is the Sigma Gel Mask S15 brush. But it's just perfect to like buff out that line. And you want to take a little bit under your nose here. Honestly, I'm not an expert with nose contouring. Um, I don't like the look of having two straight lines on my nose, but like this is more of like a natural way to like just frame my nose a little bit. Just trying to hide my nails at this point, but my but my favorite powder is the Laura Mercier um, translucent loose setting powder, and my favorite brush to um, set my powder with always is the uh, Thrive Cosmetics. Um, I don't even know, but I'll try and link it in the info box. The name is rubbed out, but th these brushes are amazing. So I really like pack a lot underneath so that my concealer stays in place. Got this annoying spot here. Okay, now I'm gonna be using the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in Cacao. I'm gonna use the ColourPop F18 brush. Most of my brushes, to be honest, are from Amazon. I'm not gonna lie. do a little bit on my forehead you guys know that one of my goals this year was to read more books so i've grabbed a book called um eleanor oliphant i think it's called eleanor oliphant it's completely fine something like that 
And so far I've been really enjoying it and I'm happy that I'm starting to read again. I've also been drawing a lot of designs for merch that I might be doing and I hope to do it this year. With everything going on it's going to be a bit slow but at least I'm working on something and I'm so happy. I just want us all to rock the same cute t-shirt. Um, so I'm going to start with t-shirts for now and see how that goes with you guys but I'm so excited. I don't know when this will come out, hopefully it does if things all work out. Okay, now that my bronzer is done, we're gonna put some blush. I've been obsessed with the Cloud Paint um, blush by Glossier in the shade Storm. And I just put a little bit in the back of my hand. This stuff's very pigmented. And I take my sponge and I literally just put a little bit on there. And just blend it on my cheeks. And it's like the perfect color for my skin tone. And I don't mind putting creams on powder. I feel like it makes your base look even more like dewy and effortless. And then for highlight, I'm going to be using some of my Ciate Dewy Stick. This is old, but I can't live without this product. I've been using it for the longest time. And I just put some on my sponge and dab it on my cheeks like this. And it gives such a wet glow. I love it. My dry ass skin needs this. Right, that's our base done. So for my eyeshadow, I really want the colours to pop. So I'm going to be using a really, really light base. Um, this is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in Tan Sand. I'm going to use a really compact brush. To put in this. And it's more on a drier side, I feel like. So it really, it doesn't like cause any creasing of my shadows. Because my lids are a bit oily. It doesn't matter if um, it goes a little bit ashy. We're going to put eyeshadow on it anyways. I'm just going to use my sponge to blend out the edges. We're going to be using the It's All Good eyeshadow palette by Colourpop. There are definitely some stunning shades in here. But I'm going to first go in with the shade called You Got It. I love that there's names in here. And I'm just going to really pack this in the outer corner and the crease. I feel like Colourpop shadows are so underrated. They're so pigmented but so affordable. You're quite lucky if you live in the States. But um, if you live in the UK, you'll probably have to pay like custom charges and stuff. But it's so worth it. And even with the custom charges, it doesn't come to that much. It depends on how much you order, to be honest. But they've got good stuff, honestly. I'm just making sure I go right in the inner corner. Then I'm going to be using the shade Sunbelt, which is a bright yellow. And I'm just going to be packing that on the edge of that kind of orangey warm tone brick shade that we've used called You Got It. And just keep going back and forth until you've got like a nice kind of blended transition between the two. The yellow helps me blend the orange shade out kind of. And I'm keeping a more like rounded eyeshadow look today rather than like winged All right then i'm going to take more of the concealer with a small fat flat brush and we're just going to do a cut crease and then from the palette we're going to use carefree which is a pale shade and we're just going to pack this onto the concealer at the same place and this is what I put it's kind of like a peach shade even though it doesn't look peach in the palette but you just want to pack this on make sure you go right to the edge of your line that you've created I'm just going to go back in with some more you got it little bit more yet i'm just gonna pack it on we're also gonna put some of you got it underneath as well and then i actually used some brown eyeliner for this look i went in with the benefit brown roller liner i love these liners they're so precise and so easy to use why why did that happen oh my god i hate it when this happens how you gotta do it just cover it up i honestly can't talk when i do liner 
All right, I'm just going to do quickly the other eye and I'll be right back. Now for mascara, I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. Then for lashes, I'm using the Doll Beauty Lashes in Jasmine. I just have to take all the glue out of this. Oh, well, that's just great. Where is my... Lash? Where has it gone? Oh, there it is. Oh. Look how that just completely changes your look. I'm going to put a little bit more mascara on my lower lashes. I swear nothing is going right. It's okay, we'll wipe that off in a bit. Oh, look, look, there's mascara everywhere on my hand now. That's just lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's everywhere. It's in between my fingers and everything. We'll just fix that with a bit of eyeshadow. Someone said to me that I have a Brummy accent, which, which to be honest, I can't even tell what a Brummy accent is. Maybe sometimes I do it on purpose without realising it. Now, onto lips. I'm going to be using my NYX Lip Pencil in Cold Brew. I've been obsessed with this. And then lipstick, I'm going to use the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in Dainty Days. This is really pale, but I like to blend it with my lip liner. Just tap a few times. <clears throat> okay, lipstick is on. I think I might actually add some gloss today. This looks really dirty, but this is the Revolution Glass Lip Gloss. It's just clear, but it's so nice at making your lips look extra plump. Let me just check my eyes. Right, this is the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, I do a bunch of TikToks now. I'm, I'm finding them so entertaining and so fun. Um, so make sure to follow me on there. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well if you haven't already. Because that's where I really like engage with you guys and talk to you guys when I'm not on YouTube. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this look. By the way, this dress is so cute. It's from Misguided. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!